Welcome back to Spend Too Much Diecast. What is going on, crew? Welcome back to the channel. To all my returning crew members, if you're new here to the channel, welcome aboard, where we do all different types of diecast unboxings, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Fast and Furious, full cases, full collections, and a whole bunch more, including now new to the channel, Disney Lorcana card breaks. So we're gonna be continuing our series here of opening the Fast and Furious non-premium vehicles. Um, we have started this away a little bit back um, we've done 2013, 14, 15, and here is the 2016 series. So this series has been around for a long time. I think they only missed one year of doing it. Um, this past couple of years, we have seen three different series in the year, um, big series, multi-packs. So there's a lot of these Fast and Furious cars out there. That is why I decided to do this because I would like to get them out of my package and into my display case, which is really cool. Plus over the years, some of these castings do change. I know the Supra changes, um, the S2000 might change a little bit. There's no skyline in this series, but I do know that these cars do have variations throughout the year. So this is the eight car set we're dealing with today. Um, they started with eight cars, then they went down to five. They might have bounced back up to eight. Now they have 10 car series and five car series still. So this series has changed a lot throughout the years. So in this series, we're getting the Toyota Supra, the Honda S2000, the Ford Mustang, the Chevelle SS, the Ford GT40, the Challenger SRT8, the Daytona, and of course the Charger RT. And this is one of the older packaging where the series name is here, Fast and the Furious, and then the bottom portion is what movie the car is from. So you can kind of see it back there. We have Tokyo Drift, Fast and the Furious 6, Fast and the Furious 6, Fast 5, um, we do have the original Fast and the Furious, Too Fast, Too Furious, Fast and Furious. So that is how you can kind of tell. The best place to find information on this is always at the Hot Wheels Wikia. Um, I know some people are like, how does this consider a set? But it is a set. It's the Fast and the Furious set, and then they just do the movie cars. Um, throughout the years, they do change the packaging. This series is for a while, and then um, they do go to more of a standardized card, but basically this is the set here. So this is the 2016 Fast and the Furious non-premium set. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and get everything cut out of the packaging, and then we'll come back and take a closer look at the vehicles. Alrighty, crew, and we are back. All right, let's go ahead and take a closer look at these. I'm just gonna do a quick um, thing here. We have opened three of the other sets, 2013, 14, and 15, and we do have some variations. Um, we're gonna see that the uh, Ford GT, the Daytona, the Supra, the Chevelle, um, a lot of these do change throughout the years. So eventually, once we get everything unboxed, um, I think we'll do a video showing the different versions or different variations of these vehicles throughout the year. Most of the time, it's the paint job either gets darker, lighter, or stuff like that. And we're gonna be starting it off with the Toyota Supra J22. Hopefully all of that has the same code. So this one, they're doing an all orange Supra. I do know this Supra does change throughout the years with um, different spoilers, different hood graphics and stuff like that. So this one, they're doing all orange, uh, no carbon fiber hood or no 
black slots on it. Uh, it does have the graphics on it, which is pretty cool. And just the normal super casting for the Fast and the Furious. Um, they did started adding this throughout some of the years, putting the Universal Studios copyright on it. Um, they try to be discreet about it, but I mean, it's right on the graphic there. It would have been nice if they just put it on the bottom of the car or something, but that is the copyright. At least they put it on the inside, not the car, not the side you see it through the window. But there is the Supra. The second one up we have now is Suki's Honda S2000. I do know this casting also does change throughout the years. Uh, wheels, all that kind of stuff. But here it is in nice pink with the graphics. No taillight deco. We do get the headlight deco though for the S2000. And there is the passenger side. Well, technically the driver side. Um, and there is your your um, copyright as well there. So at least they are subtle. So there is what the S2000 looks like in this series. All right next up we have the Ford Mustang. Chrome base, nice green color with the white stripe. And of course this one is from Tokyo Drift when they put the, um, was it, it was either a Sylvia engine or a Skyline engine in it, I don't remember. But I do, I think this one does change throughout the years too with the shade of green. I don't remember if it was this one or if it was the Torino. But pretty cool. All these cars are in nice shape for being old. All right, fourth one up, we have the Chevelle. Again, chrome base. This one does do a matte paint job on it, a matte gray with a black stripe on the bottom. No headlight deco. Of course, the taillights are the base and they put it real subtle there on the door. Black interior almost has a um, bigger tires on the back smaller ones on the front I don't know if that changes throughout the years as well all right number five we have the Ford GT40 and this one is way darker than the normal coloring usually they went with a really lighter blue so I do know that for a fact is a different variation you do have the Ford logo on the side with the stripe stripe on the top just gray for the headlights. Oh, this time they put that manufacturing logo in inside the stripe. I don't know why my camera is not focusing. Come on. But there it is. You can kind of see it there. So there is your Ford GT40. All right, next up, what are we on? Two, four, five, six. Sixth car is going to be the Challenger SRT8. Um, this one's a nice, like, gr uh, black with a lot of pearl in it. And then the Hemi is in a matte black. I think this coloring changes throughout the years as well. I do like the, the, um, the pearl they put in this paint though um headlight not really headlight deco i would consider it it looks like it's the black paint job no taillight deco so the only deco we get is the hemi logo there's the manufacturing on the back there chrome base all that good stuff black interior pretty nice all right down to the last two we have the 69 Dodge Charger Challenger, no, Dodge Daytona, 69 Daytona. I do know that this one changes throughout the year with the um, paint job. Some of them are look red, some of them look purple. It's crazy how much the color changes. In this series, it seems like they put a lot of pearl in their paint, so I don't know why they started doing that in this series. 
and then down there they put the logo but yeah one year i remember it being purple the other year a dark maroon and now it almost looks like a uh, it almost looks like a burnt a burnt brown but it's still kind of got a red tint to it all right then last one up we do have is the um dodge charger rt again this one changes throughout the years most mainly it's a just a black color but i don't know what it was with this year look how much pearl is in this paint too throughout the years this is normally just a black gloss paint job um unless this was supposed to be like some kind of like um spectral flame series i never really heard anything about that but these this paint job really does have a lot of pearl and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. And there is the uh, logo there on the passenger side. Chrome interior, um, black base. I'll just grab one of them to kind of show you. We won't do a full comparison. There's the Daytona. And there's the Ford GT. So this is from the year before. Um, look at the Ford GT here. That coloring uh, compared to this coloring, completely a different coloring. And that's like how I said, there is going to be a variation throughout the years. And what I'm talking about, the pearl, is look at the two blacks. So most of the the Daytona or the Charger RTs come in this just flat black or this gloss black look how much pearl they put in this paint job and that seems like all of them so i wonder if they just try to do something different for this series but that's what i'm talking about that these series do have um variations on paint jobs and stuff like that throughout the years so look at that pearl compared to just the, the black so there we go there is the unboxing on this one like i said this is the 2016 um, fast and furious set put out by hot wheels non-premium set um, we do have a bunch of other ones so if you have not already please go ahead hit that subscribe button join the spend too much diecast crew hit the bell notification give this video a thumbs up all that good stuff down below in the description you will see some links to our social medias and stuff but if you want to go back and see any of the other series 2013 all the way up to now there will be a link down there for every single series you can go back take a look at these videos try to do some comparisons see if you guys have the right versions all that good stuff that is why i put these videos out for you not only for enjoyment but i do see them as kind of a um, checklist or information in case you guys are wondering more about it and you don't know where to go check but i do have some stuff here so there it is. There's the unboxing. Thank you everybody for watching it here at Spend Too Much Diecast. And we'll see everybody on the next unboxing. Bye.